You're not very good at vacuuming, but you are good company. Hey everyone, my name is Aaliyah and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different as you can probably tell by the title we're going to be doing a little bit of a motivational clean with me video so i've been feeling kind of out of sorts and having a lack of motivation like on and off the last few weeks or i should say like the last few months really but i feel like the last few weeks has been especially hard for me to keep my motivation up so the reason this room got so out of whack is for a few reasons so when we moved in here this place is actually under construction because we got flooding from Harvey. So for like the first two years, all the way up until I had him, this house was under construction. And actually this room that I'm in right now was being built. It used to be a deck. And so it got finished like the week that he was born, right on time. Um, and I was able to set up all of his newborn clothes and everything and kind of get his crib put in here and get his dressers put in here. But the rest of the house, I never got a chance to like nest in the rest of the house because it was under construction. We were in one room and then like maybe um, a month or so before I had Eson, we switched to the room that we're in now. And I was exhausted from pregnancy. It was in the middle of summer. I had really bad HG during my pregnancy. So I was nauseous all the time and throwing up. I couldn't sleep. I had leg cramps. I had like pretty much any symptom that you could think of um, was I had it under my belt during my pregnancy. So I just had no strength to really get the place like organized in that, in that short window of a month. So pretty much what ended up happening was eventually we weren't really using this room that much because we spent a lot of our time downstairs. And then eventually we started just kind of like putting things that we weren't using anymore from like the other room or like other rooms, other areas in the house. And we kind of ended up just like they gravitated into this room. And then eventually it just kind of like got out of hand and you will see that. <laughs> so just keep that in mind guys, cause uh, it's pretty bad. I'm honestly, I'm embarrassed, but I do feel good after like cleaning up and like kind of being able to like see the footage of me cleaning. It was very motivational and like therapeutic for me because I actually was able to see my progress and it didn't feel as overwhelming because I was like, oh, like when I was doing it, it felt really overwhelming. But then when I watched back over, over the footage, I was like, oh, it actually like, it was like very therapeutic for me. So I really enjoyed actually being able to see my progress. I'm doing my best to rewrite my wrongs and get this place put together after months of just like a downward spiral. So yeah, I guess um, let's, just, let's just get right into it. So here is the chaotic mess that Esson's nursery turned into. There's a swing in here that we no longer use, some of my clothes, some blankets and books and just random things on the floor, some clothes that I need to go through. And over here is a diaper pail that we no longer use. Just a bunch of random stuff. Here is some arts and crafts stuff over here from some projects that I was working on and some tissue paper boxes, all the stuff that we used whenever I was pumping, whenever I first had him.
after lots of laundry, day one is finally done. I still need to get rid of this swing and this fan is in here because it gets very hot while I'm cleaning. So I need to now move this fan out of here. some little other things that I need to clean up in this room but since he is turning nine months today I wanted to focus on going through all of his clothes and taking out everything that doesn't fit him anymore so that I can see what I need to buy for him what he's grown out of so I can see what I need to replace so yeah I wanted to focus on getting this area right here done today I do still have my makeup over here that I need to like clean out but um, I don't have all the things that I need in order to organize this makeup right now and I also need to like figure out what to do with this fridge. So for now I'm going to leave this and I'm just going to focus on getting all of his clothes organized and folded and sorted through and then I'm going to finish the rest of everything else. So first I want to show you guys the state of his drawers right now. This makes me so sad because Right before I had him, I went through these drawers and like had everything organized so neatly. All of his newborn clothes were up here and then the next size up was down below and all of his towels and blankets were on the bottom. And now it's just become this craziness. I don't even know how this happened, but hopefully I can get everything sorted through and organized today and it'll be so much better and it can get back to looking cute the way it was before. I've started out with this pile of clothes here. This is a bit of diaper laundry and clothes that he's currently wearing. So I just have this little palette put here on the rug and let's go ahead and get started.
So now that I have all the clothes taken out, here is the drawer and some of the stuff that's left in here. There's some odds and ends in here that I need to sort through. And I got this basket that I am going to put all the stuff that does not belong in this drawer. It needs to be taken to other rooms and get it all sorted through and put away accordingly. everything that's in here I kind of want to keep in here because there's some memorabilia stuff and I don't want to lose these because they go to anchoring his dressers so I don't want to get rid of those clothes that I've already sorted through and listed on my Mercari app, which is a app that I use to resell some of Eson's clothes that he hasn't gotten to use or has lightly worn. And I made these little makeshift labels for them so that it's easier for me to find the items that I need based on the size. And then over here I have this scale that I use sometimes to weigh S on. We use this a lot whenever he was a newborn because he was underweight, but I use this now in order to weigh the clothes so that I know how much I need to pay for shipping. Say hello, S on. <laughs> I did get the makeup clear off of here, but I didn't film it because I was in a rush and also it's super dusty over there. It was giving me allergies, so I just wanted to move on from there as quickly as possible. And then here is definitely the area that needs the most work because I need to get rid of this diaper pail since we are using cloth diapers now, so we don't use the diaper pail anymore. And here is all the rest of the clothes that I need to go through and sort and put in the bags according to their size. They're kind of already organized because I have them roughly in the same size range for each bag. So I need to go through all of these clothes and put them up for sale. So that'll be fun. And then all the clothes over here are clothes that I want to donate. All right, so there you have it, the room is nice and neat now. I'm definitely at a place where I feel like I like my progress so far. There's still a few things to get done, but for now I feel really good about my effort and the progress that I've made. If you enjoyed this video and enjoy content like this and would like to see more content like this, then please leave a comment down below and let me know. I definitely liked it for myself, just personally. Like I said, I felt like it was very therapeutic and it was motivational. For me so i think that i will make more content like this but i want to know what you guys um what you guys want to see all right and that's it for today thank you so much for watching and as always please like and subscribe and if you haven't already hit the notification bell down below so you can stay notified for when i post videos i just want to make a little disclaimer okay guys I am fully aware that the average person does not put on makeup to clean their house and I am no exception. I do not put on makeup to just clean my house. However, one of the reasons that I did start making YouTube videos was because I felt like we were stuck inside the house and there was no opportunity to like get dressed up and like feel good and stuff like that and it not just be like totally wasteful to just like 
put on makeup for no reason, absolutely no reason at all. I wanted to start making YouTube videos so I would have like a reason to like get dressed up and like feel good about myself. So like once or twice a week, I get to do myself up a little bit for, for YouTube and that's my business. So no, I do not clean my house and wear makeup, but I also don't usually wear a hijab and clean my house. So um, it's definitely not me trying to be like, oh yes, I'm so perfect and pretty and all these kind of things. It's just, I, I wanna feel good about myself, guys. And putting on makeup and getting in front of the camera makes me feel like there's like a little bit of something to look forward to every week. And I greatly appreciate everyone who watches and gives me the opportunity to be able to grow on YouTube. So yeah, thank you to everyone who watches and helps me be able to get out of the the day-to-day -day nuances. <laughs>